Welcome back to Koh Samui and welcome to one of the most incredible places on the island, maybe even in the whole country of Thailand. Welcome to Moonstone. Moonstone is a six bedroom, seven bathroom, incredible property on the tippity top of the northern shores of Koh Samui. It is a dream paradise holiday destination for a family or a group of friends like today. I've had the privilege to be able to stay here for the past three days with a lot of my best friends and fellow content creators and in this video I'm going to document exactly what Moonstone is and show you around. I'll also recap our time here and what we got up to because it's been fantastic and then I'll also explain to you how did we manage to stay here because there's an interesting sort of behind the scenes reason and uh, we didn't just book it. How did we manage to get to stay here um, and the answer is Strap in, get ready for some pure luxury, some pure paradise, positive vibes here on Koh Samui at the incredible Moonstone. And I promise I won't keep saying incredible, but it really is <laughs> absolutely incredible. My name is Paddy Doyle and that behind me is the little beautiful Dreamy. I recently quit my job as a teacher to travel all of the 77 provinces of Thailand. And we were having the time of our lives. We spent three months in the south visiting 18 of the incredibly beautiful provinces down there. <laughs> However, COVID came back. And so for safety reasons, I came back to Koh Samui to see out the worst of it and to highlight more of this incredibly beautiful island. So welcome to Samui SideQuest, where we're going to be highlighting all of the local businesses on the island and all of the best experiences this place has to offer. It's unbelievable. It really is a fantastic little temple. Incredible place. So subscribe and join us on today's Samui SideQuests. Let's go. Okay. Let me show you around the common area. This is, this is a really cool part. So once you've come through the door and you've come past the gym and stuff, you've got this amazing staircase with this incredible plant that's overgrowing. And um, I asked uh, Kun A, who's one of the, what, the, the main dude here, the manager, and he said that, you know, that's been growing over the past few years and it slowly comes down. And I really like it. I like they haven't cut it back. Look at this view. So you come down. And here we are, these amazing glass doors. And um, you've got this system here, which you can control all of the lights, all of the music, all of the ambiance. Let's start with the best part of the house, which is the kitchen. You've got a nice breakfast table here and a uh, huge, oh my God, wait till you see the fridge. <laughs> Ginormous, double fridge with juices and all our sodas and waters, fresh fruits, cheeky few bottles of wine. Good morning. Good morning, <laughs> We got our coffee machine. Is this a bread maker? No, Oven. For the wine to keep for the Oven, yeah, okay, cool. Good, and then you've got all your coffees and stuff. Looks like they're getting ready for, I think, um, yeah, Dylan and Adriana are over there waiting for a coffee. I mean, just look at it, it's massive, right? Really nice, and um, the staff are lovely, um, really lovely. You've got Kune, the gentleman behind me. He's like the go-to guy who will just get you everything and help you with anything you need. And then there's um, about four or five other full-time staff who cook the food and just help out and just take care of things. And they're hands-on or hands-off, it's up to you. So if you need them to be around and you need help, they'll be, completely there for you and if you just want 100% privacy um, then they'll just shoot off and um, a mix between the both you just let them know then this is kind of the inside living room and we had a nice dinner here on the first night I love these lights they're incredible the first night um, around dinner time there was a big storm and it blew in and uh, we got pushed 
here and we had an amazing um, seafood barbecue with all the trimmings, it was incredible. And then this is the living room area and they've got this cool coffee table and double sofa. It's kind of like um, a U shape, so you can hang out on this side and face the sea. You can hang out on this side and watch TV on this incredible curved screen. I love it. Have a look at this. This is another epic thing. So when you come in here, there's a downstairs communal bathroom, in here shower. Um, let me see if I can show you quickly. And then you come through in here, and let me turn the light on again. So this is something else. This is the games room, the cinema room, whatever you want to call it. And so when you come in here, this is, this is the wow room, to be honest. Hey, you've got a nice giant sort of raised sofa on some steps here with Darth Vader and amazing soft cushions. I've had a good little nap or two on this thing. And then you've got this incredible art piece with, um, you know, lots of characters from movies like Thanos and Uma Thurman from Pulp Fiction. And there's a bunch of people. It's a fun game actually trying to guess uh, what movies they all come from. And then they have this game here, which is, I actually don't know the name, um, but you have these like, um, blue and red weights, they're quite heavy, and then you've got this really smooth, almost like a bowling alley piece of uh, wood, right, and then you get points, one, two, and three, and obviously nothing if it falls off the edge. And the idea is you just play with your friend, and you've you got to try and slide it across. <clears throat> Not like that, let's try again. Ready? That was too much. And the surface is covered in this um, sand, you see? Anyway, um, super fun. I think it's a Canadian game, to be honest, because we don't have that in England. Um, so if you do know the name of this game, let me know in the comments, because we just keep calling it Slidey Board. <laughs> and then, look at this. Card table, backgammon, or Mei Hong, or poker, or you know any kind of thing that you want and uh, immediate access to sodas and beers and whatever you want in here and of course the big screen which is connected up to you know Netflix and uh, YouTube and uh, they have Amazon Prime as well so any movie you want pretty much you can whiz it up on there and the girls had a movie night last night the boys were not invited uh, because the night before we took over this area and had a bit of a boys night so that's fair enough and it's great in there it's incredible right so in the morning when you um, wake up around 9 o'clock or whatever time you want, you can request a Western breakfast or a Thai breakfast. I think today we're doing Thai. And this is the outside dining table. And um, so it looks like they've got some fresh fruits and cereals. And um, just by looking at the garnishes of the ginger, the chili and the uh, fried garlic, looks like that they're preparing congee, Thai congee, which is that rice porridge soup. Uh, with a soft boiled egg. And then this is the barbecue, um, where we had the seafood barbecue. Oops. And this is the pizza oven. Um, and what was really cool was last night, um, we requested to have pizza doughs made for us. And then we all hand pushed uh, our own pizzas and we garnished our own pizzas with whatever we wanted. And that was really fun. Uh, to sort of make your own pizza. I've never made my own pizza before and that was really cool. I did like a barbecue sauce base with uh, tomato and obviously lots of cheese, salami, and then I put a fried egg on top and uh, it came out brilliant and it was delicious. And I was so proud of myself. <laughs> and then out here you've got some more seating area. These are really comfortable. Or some little seats and uh, sun lounges obviously. And uh, it's a bit cloudy today, but sort of this time of year, what's it now, the beginning of August, seems to be the same kind of thing. It brightens up in the morning, uh, really nice and hot during the day and sunny, and then around about four or five o'clock, a big storm always rolls in. So every night around dinner time, there's been a huge storm, which has been nice because you get to see it coming across the ocean over the other side of Samiri, and then it hits us, and we all duck in here, and yeah, it's beautiful. This is the pool, which has a swim-up bar and um, nice long and actually quite deep at this end and of course the incredible views of this bay here which is obviously low tide right now and there's some fishermen out in the distance and you can see Big Buddha Banrak beach is there and over there is Koko Tam area and the Mainam and this is all the northern beaches of Koh Samui Island you know the view is isn't what makes it and everybody who's staying here has the view just up there you can see 
that, you know, there's the guy's balconies and then the upper ones, that's ours. Look at these handsome devils. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. morning. Nice coffee? Mm. Oh yeah, really good coffee actually. <sighs> Can I just show off your um, Rob. moonstone robes? They're oh. good aren't they? Mm. Yeah, they're really nice. Are you sad about checking out today? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so well, being a bit check out though, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's true. We're allowed to check out at three o'clock in the afternoon, so we yeah. basically got another full day here, which is nice. Make uh, up for a swim later. Yeah, I think today's kind of the day just to sort of soak it in, right? Yeah. Before we have to go back. I'm just gonna show everyone the the downstairs area. But yeah, this is really cool. This is where we've been having lots of naps. These really <laughs> soft these really soft little cushion area. <laughs> and they've got the speakers out here and we've what was that music we were playing? UK, UK bassline? Filthy bassline. UK filthy bassline. <laughs> we had a wicked party here the first night. And then we come down into the garden. It's a bit windy, so I apologize for that. This beautiful tree, bush. And uh, this is kind of the lawn area. And um, sort of hangout, chill out area. And uh, one thing that you, you will immediately realize when you come down here is how soft the grass is. It's really soft. It's like it's like a bouncy castle, but it's made from uh, grass. <laughs> so soft and bouncy. I was down here. We were listening to Taylor Swift and Lady Gaga and all these like pop songs. I think we played the Frozen soundtrack and had a bit of a dance because um, we were just kind of enjoying life and letting it, letting letting ourselves be ourselves, and it was amazing. And uh, look at this. You can see me. Hello. Um, these are really cool, these nice big outdoor sofas. I mean, just look at the material here, handmade, handcrafted, beautiful, huge sofas. And um, there are some life jackets out here because um, I told them that this morning I wanted to go for a kayak. Um, there's an island over there, you can see behind that fishing boat, and uh, I wanted a kayak there. And, uh, but it, with the low tide, I just can't, I just can't get out there. So we're gonna have to wait maybe till in the afternoon or maybe just, maybe just it was a fail and I should have done it a couple of days ago. But um, yeah, and then this is not the best part. There's another secret area. So yeah, you just come to the end of the garden. There's this amazing lily plant with these beautiful purple flowers that grow all over this. And you come down these rocky stone steps to reveal this kind of like, secret little lawn here. At high tide, this would be where the water is lapping up, but obviously because it's low tide, it's way out here, and you can see the kayak just waiting. And uh, there's the beautiful island, there's Samui, and that's pretty much most of the property. Let me take you upstairs and show you my room now, and then uh, I'll explain, like I said at the beginning, you know, how did we all get to stay here? Um, because it's, uh, it's an interesting story, so let me, let me first go show you my room. To the room now um, I apologize there is some leftover pizza and plenty of personal items this is day three and um, I didn't get the shots I needed when I checked in um, when the room was perfect but never mind you'll see what kind of this what the room still looks like and everything and um, really nice artwork um, here and then you have this work desk which is really cool this is the leftover pizza so I apologize about that and that's been good because um, you know, my girl, she has meetings and things, and so she's been able to do lots of work whilst we relax as well. So she'll come up here and, and connect to Zoom and, and have meetings and teach classes and things, and she does what she has to do. It also has really nice, huge wardrobes, and um, underneath this desk, they have uh, a fridge, so you can keep your drinks cold and you don't have to go all the way downstairs. That's the one thing about Moonstone, um, is, you know, it's a bit of a mission to walk up the stairs to back to your room if you forget something. So make sure you kind of pack a day bag to go down and enjoy the communal area. Because if you're like, oh, I forgot my phone charger. Oh, I forgot the drone controller. Oh, I forgot my phone. Oh, I need a towel. <laughs> uh, yes, it's, uh, you're gonna lose a lot of calories just going up and down the stairs, um, which is probably a good thing, isn't it really? And then the bed. Now, let me just talk about the bed. Now, if you are someone who needs a firm bed, 
then you won't like this. If you're someone who likes soft beds, then you're gonna love this. I mean, last night, you know, you literally sink into these. They're just, like, especially like, if you give it an hour, you'll just kind of like be absorbed into it. <laughs> it's so soft. Coming out to the balcony area. And um, you can dry your towels, have a little morning coffee or a cup of tea out here and just absorb the views. And um, you know, th this morning at half past six when the sun came up and we didn't have the curtains drawn. I, normally we had the curtains drawn, but last night I said, no, let's leave them open so that we can get awoke, you know, with the natural light and looking out in the morning, especially over at the Golden Buddha in the morning light and just watching the clouds move over Samui from your bed, you know, it's it's magnificent. You've got these beautiful flowers and then there is an astroturf area here and um, you might think like, oh, jump over and hit some golf balls or something, but um, no, <laughs> don't do that. Um, I think it's just uh, the roof of the other bedrooms. So um, anyway, lovely little room. And um, the best part is the bathroom. So the bathroom, uh, you have a throne, and then you have a really good shower. The hot water is really powerful, really nice and hot. And the best part is, and this is a tiny little thing that I keep talking about, it's the little things in Moonstone, the little things they think about. And that is just the fact that the, the shower area is down about three, four inches, as you can see. Which just means the water doesn't splash and get everywhere and go all over the floor. One thing in Thailand is, every time you're having a nice shower, normally you walk and you spread around and there's water everywhere. And the shower room turns into a wet room and everything gets wet. Um, but they don't have that because of this tiny little feature. Anyway, then you've got obviously the sink and the faucet, nice plants and complimentary lotions and all the rest of it. But the best part is the double jacuzzi bathtub. Woo! And um, yes, last night uh, me and the girl had a nice hot tub together with bubble bath. And uh, you fill it up and the hot water comes in and then you've got um, these two buttons which spray bubbles and massage and stuff and it's really nice. And the good thing is as well, like, you know, she's lying here and I'm lying here and like nobody has the tap end. So there's not just one area of the bath which is like, oh, chill, and the other person's like up against the tap. You both have a comfortable seat with massages and everything. I mean, how cool is that? There are, we've had a little look into our friends' rooms um, the other day and they're not all the same. They do all share, obviously, the bathtub and the same epic bed, but the, the, the fixtures and fittings and the way that they're um, positioned are different and things. So yeah, check out their videos and you can see their rooms if you want to be super nosy, as well as, you know, find out, you know, their perspective of the stay. Okay, so I've come to the games room because um, everyone's being very noisy, having a great time. <laughs> so how did we manage to get to stay here? Um, and the answer is networking and uh, asking politely and coming up with a creative idea. So as I said at the beginning, you might recognize this property because if you watch YouTube on, um, especially Thailand content on YouTube, uh, you might be familiar with the YouTube channel Retired Working For You, who um, is a guy called Chris and he's from Canada. And um, I think just over a year ago during the first lockdown, he just started making YouTube videos um, in his condo that he was locked in and um, it spiraled and he made positive content. And uh, recently he hit over 100,000 subscribers and um, you know this is uh, a part of his business portfolio and so you know he's a part of this property let's say anyway uh, when he was live streaming here when he was staying at Moonstone because obviously when it's not booked and if he can get down here um, and get away from Bangkok then he does he comes here and stays here and um, he was doing a live stream and uh, on Instagram and apparently a lot of people on the Instagram were saying to him oh Paddy's on Koh Samui Paddy's on Koh Samui reach out to him we'd love you to make a video together or just to hang out so I got an Instagram message from him, a nice little voice memo saying, Paddy, I heard you're on Samui. I'd love to meet you. Would you like to come over to Moonstone for dinner? And so the next day I came over here and he was having some guests and some friends and uh, I got to meet Chris and his family and his friends and we had a really nice dinner here at Moonstone. And I didn't film anything because it was like a, a private kind of 
you know, dinner. And uh, during that stay and during hanging out with Chris and getting to know Chris, I looked around and I thought, wow, this is a great property that a lot of, um, you know, members of my audience, some of you guys would really like to see and potentially book in the future if you come to Samui. And then I thought, well, I also have a bunch of friends on Samui who are also content creators. We've got two passports, one dream, and they have a fantastic series on their channel at the moment called Weird and Wonderful Accommodations and Hotels, and they review fantastic and wonderful places. And I thought this would be perfect for them. Flora and Note live on the island, and they would be, you know, really, uh, perfect to come here to and enjoy and make content here for their audience and then I've got Yanni he's an English guy he's really cool and he runs TikTok chat pages his own pages other brands pages on Facebook TikTok Instagram he's a bit of a social media guru he's got millions um, or he manages pages with millions of followers anyway so then I was like okay and then he obviously we've got Tara and um, sh sh she does Instagram stuff and TikTok things as well and basically so there's a bunch of us who have a wide audience across multiple platforms and social media so I pitched to Chris I said hey Chris I sent him an email I said thanks again for inviting me the other day I have an idea I'd like to run by you and I think it would be beneficial for you and Moonstone um, Basically, we would like to come, we would like to stay a night and document our time there and make, you know, content and tag Moonstone, uh, provide links and show off your property um, and the Moonstone business to our audiences and hopefully it will give um, spread awareness and, you know, ultimately future bookings from our own audience. And so... He said yes, uh, he said that would be great, and so he actually said we could stay for three days, two nights and three full days, and so we didn't have to be on top of each other all vlogging or all making content together during the same part of the day and just kind of getting in each other's way. And so the first two days I actually kind of took a back seat and just watched everyone do their thing and it was really great to see them flying the drones and making TikToks and doing Instagram photos, doing vlogs and just all their you know creativity explosion. And I just sat there and watched uh, for a few days because I was a little bit um, unwell. Anyway, uh, so then today, our last day, I decided, you know what, everybody's finished doing their stuff. Now I feel a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more uh, free to just show you around the property. And so that's why I wanted to talk to you about, you know, what this place looks like, how fantastic it is, what we got up to whilst we were here. and then. Fundamentally, you know, how did we manage to get this? Because this is how some creators, um, not all the time, but sometimes uh, get to stay at these kinds of places. They don't actually like we haven't had to, you know, pay any money, but there's been an exchange. Um, we've promoted uh, and exposed this property um, and hopefully drived bookings in exchange for being able to stay here for, um, you know, basically nothing. We just have to pay for the cost price of all of the food and drink that we've consumed, uh, which is incredible. So thank you, Chris, um, and thank you everyone at Moonstone for inviting us. And uh, so I just wanted to share that with you because that's sometimes how content creators manage to stay um, at these places. They get invited and the business gets, you know, it's like a two-way thing. So anyway, that's a little bit behind the scenes of how we managed to get to Moonstone. That's the story of how we stayed here and what we got up to. I hope you enjoyed it. And obviously, if you are looking for a dream stay, a honeymoon, uh, uh, a, a holiday of a lifetime with you and some friends or a family, consider Moonstone. It is, it's paradise on earth. And uh, the staff here, the whole atmosphere here is just to die for. It's been amazing. We're gonna go enjoy the last few hours here. We're gonna check out at three o'clock and then go back to our homes and sort of digest and um, really breathe in this experience of this beautiful place on this beautiful island in this amazing country. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, Moonstone. Check out the links in the description. Uh, follow them on Instagram and uh, just save it. Even if you might not be able to afford to stay here today or next week, uh, who knows what the future holds and I would love to come back here in the future with a fully paid, 
you know, stay and really enjoy it. Maybe do uh, some kind of a 100,000 subscriber party here or something would be incredible. Or even just, you know, a future family holiday one day when I have a family and hopefully millions of dollars in the bank. <laughs> Anyway, I'm rambling as usual. What a surprise, Paddy Doyle. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed Moonstone, and I will see you very soon in another positive video from Koh Samui.